To be honest, this inspector seems rather obtuse. I'm counting on your friend Poirot to catch my brother's murderer. Ah, here he is now. Please, Mr. Poirot. Mr. Poirot, this is my brother's secretary, Miss Thora Gray. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Poirot. Would you like some tea? No, thank you, mademoiselle. I find it hard to digest. How dare you! Uh, let's talk to both of these. Let's do four grey first. There is I'm kind of getting used to the uh, order of how to do things. Ooh, she has a button. Hey, it's a dragon like the one in his wallet. Why were he going to bed naughty bits? She has good taste. Except perhaps in a choice of jewellery. I like it. I think it's cool. Please excuse me, I have to take care of Lady Clark. I was about to question you. Alright, bye. Hastings does not like very hot tea. He's going to blow on his cup for a good while before drinking. Um... My brother's wife is gravely ill. You will probably want to question her, but I fear that it won't be possible today. I forgot to, to serve him. You know what I just said? I'm sort of used to the way to do things now. I'm an idiot. Of course. Understanding. I understand. Someone set a trap for your brother. Who was familiar with his habits? Everybody knew he took his evening walk at half past eight, and that he always followed the same path. Who is everybody? Everybody, including you? Naturally. What were you doing last night? After dinner, I went to my bedroom. At 11 in the evening, the telephone rang. It was the police. I went to look for my brother. Was it a dark night? It was a new moon. It's my favorite Batman Lantern. film. So it was you who found the body? Yes, along with the gardener. Have you seen any strangers around the house recently? No. As far as I know, nobody has been near the house. Although that is around about 50 miles. Miss Clark. Oh, Lady Clark must have fallen from her chair. I have to help Miss Grey get her up. No, don't pick her up yourself. You have to call an ambulance. Hastings, while our host is gone, let's examine the drawing room. But there are no drawings here. A gentleman shouldn't. I am no gentleman. Responsibility. All you have to do is to leave the drawing room door ajar and let me know if anyone is coming. I'm going to stare at this wall. Okay, I didn't mean to act like a complete jackass. Okay, so we've got seven things to observe. A turtle. Dragons. Oh, no, it's a turtle. Okay. A turtle. I like turtles. Dragon. Kettle. Dragon. Dragon. Sir Carmichael showed himself to be very consistent in his collection's theme. So he liked dragons. Eh? There's no reason to kill him. It is an emperor. His place at the center of the table is probably symbolic. Okay. You're going to tell us of what? Oh, you said probably. So I don't know. You probably don't know either. A tiger. Rawr. Sugar. Do, 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 do. A Click on all these. crane? There's going to be a lot of like, oriental themed puzzles. Dragon. A dragon. There you go. That's Sir Carmichael's seat. And we were sitting there. I am the new emperor. A book. Combside's private collection purchases since 1920. Combside's private collection purchases since 1920. The catalogue for Sir Carmichael Clark's collection. Is that something all rich people have? It'd be a very small book in my case. It's nice how we offer absolutely no help in picking up Lady Clark. The cardinal points. 
This book could maybe help me. Each cardinal point is associated with one animal and one color. In the middle sits the impaled dragon, and right. out of respect, so all the others like are turned towards him. Dragon, turtle, crane, tiger. Each cardinal point. Yeah, okay, I get it. Okay, okay. Turtle, dragon, crane, and the tiger. I think I've already seen this motif somewhere. You have? Oh, God, yeah, the colours. Wait, what was the colours? Turtle was black. Where's the turtle? Wait. Dragon was blue. I think turtle was black. So only blue and black. So is it maybe the same as this? Red in that far corner, white and blue. Gone already. Black, blue. I need to swap those two round. Red and more green would actually white, but whatever. I forgot what I was doing. Oh. The position of each motif is correct, but they are not turned the same way as on the table. Are they not? The position of each motif is correct, but they are not turned the same way as on the table. Can I turn it around? Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to go check the table. Oh crap. Uh Okay, so I'm going to have to go look and see where they are on the table cuz I don't know. Damn it. I didn't know that's something I should be paying attention to. I thought it was a cool, odd quirk they had. Right, so the dots face inwards. I should have probably been able to work that out, but eh. Thinking. Turtle, dragon, crane, and the tiger. I think I've already seen this motif somewhere. Oh, wait, no, this one. The position of each motif. It's one of those games where everyone has really elaborate furniture. 
So is that not right? Why is that not right? Tell me why that's not right. So they're not black, blue, black, blue, red, white. Uh, black, blue, red, white, dragon, turtle, tiger, crane, dots pointing in the center. What am I missing? Position of each motif assembled. Position of each motif assembles that of those on the table. Yes. It is blocked. Damn it. I'm just gonna say that the mechanism is not clicking. The cardinal points. This book. Each cardinal point is associated okay, so with one. Dragon. It doesn't tell you what the outside ones. which colours represent which animal. Could it be this cupboard? Well, I did it. This is interesting. Is it? There's a knife missing. These daggers are only ceremonial weapons. I do not think that the crime weapon is here. It is missing. This is he's brought throat medicine from the doctor as well. Ernest Luggan. MD Brighton Cancer Institute 201 Dusk Road Brighton. Oh, did he get throat cancer? That's horrible. To Sir Carmichael Clark, MD Comsite Chester, Devon. Brighton, 1935, January the 5th. As a man of science, I owe it to you to be completely frank. Miss Frank. Clark, your wife is suffering from a oh, generalized terminal cancer. I confess I didn't suspect anything like that during the first exams. With the test well, results I have received I today, make fun of there this. is unfortunately no place for doubt. I estimate that Lady Clark's life expectancy is no more than one year. Hospitalization would not help in her case, so I advise you to keep her at home and provide her with as much morphine as required to ease her last moments. Your sincerely, Ernest. Well, at least she's getting the good stuff. It. Here's Miss Gray. Sorry to keep you waiting. Lady Clark's condition requires regular care. I believe you want to ask me a few questions. Indeed, mademoiselle. This porcelain is remarkable. Is it old? It's about three centuries old, I believe. Wait, then why are we eating of it? Oh, sorry, I don't know. I should remember to observe her she again. She to be very flustered. She's been making out with Mr. Other Guy. She's unable to hide her emotion, and her makeup has been disturbed. I think that this young woman has just been kissed. Aha, we caught him. Here. Teapot with black dragon, Gangshi period, end of the 17th century. It is a rare piece with unusual colours. You have a good knowledge of art history. She read it from Acquired a book. while working with Sir Carmichael. I used to help him manage his collection and choose his new acquisitions. Did you have a good relationship with your employer? He treated me no, well, and I am sorry for his death. Have you seen any strangers hanging around in the past few days? No. Nobody has been near Comside. What were you doing yesterday evening at the time of the murder? I was sleeping. 
I was woken by the telephone at 11. I heard Franklin Clark speaking with the gardener. They left with some lanterns and they found the body. Am I right Straight thinking that something is going on between you and Franklin? How dare you ask me such a question? I'm no slut. And you? Are you there to kiss your good friend in the house of a dead man? Mr. Poro, you are behaving despicably. Yep. Kind of on purpose. Miss Gray, if I may be so bold, please do not take offense. My friend has rather unusual methods, but all he wants is to find <sighs> the murderer. Hastings, you're such a bitch. Yes, I understand. I must rest. Please excuse me. It's like midday. I'm normally asleep by now. Earlier, you asked me to watch the living room door for you. I don't wish to be indiscreet, but sometimes a gentleman stumbles upon a secret without intending to. That is sometimes the case. And I saw Franklin Clark kissing Miss Gray at the foot of the stairs. Do you think this is a common occurrence? No, I well, saw emotion, intensity. I think it was their first kiss. Oh, holy well, shit. Done, mean. Well spotted. However, I don't think I completely understand this business. Why did Sir Carmichael not defend himself? He appeared to have been active and strong. Because he was taken no, from behind. Give him a chance. Let us try and Wait, really finished? 